Sing to the moon and the stars will shine. Oh. I grew up in a Disney saturated household and anything that had musical content that we could reinterpret in the moment, we would do, me and my siblings. And this was like rituals. Stay awake, don't rest your head. I first heard Stay Awake as a 10-year-old. When I listen to it now, it's always an emotional experience. After her introduction and the strings, the feeling is here, it's like it's gonna burst. The first thing that comes to mind is family, because music would be how we expressed love. So hearing that song immediately makes me think of my brother and sister and singing together. Music remains a sort of big mystery. It's the pinnacle of you know, what we think of when we think of understanding the listening brain. And it's known to activate these deep structures in the brain that are associated with emotions. We decided to study familiarity of songs. We selected a song that was unknown to uh, Laura, but was very similar to her um, chosen song. We chopped them up into sub-second chunks and we presented the chunks randomly. And then we were interested in how the brain would process uh, the unfamiliar but very similar song compared to their well-known and favorite song. I think it was also the fascination of how can you sing someone to sleep? And I remember as a child how adamant I was to stay awake. We fell in love with this woman who made it attractive <laughs> to fall asleep. And she does it with such ease and style. Don't know this song represents everything that made me fall in love with music making. For Laura, what we saw was a very early differentiation in the brain response uh, between the familiar and the unfamiliar song. Uh, so already a tenth of a second after we presented um, the short snippets, the brain um, was able to differentiate between the two. And this is really interesting and striking. It's too brief to be able to recognize words or, or even, you know, like melody. But the fact that the brain still managed to find the familiar within this mix so, so quickly is amazing. And I might suggest, you know, I mean, I mean a very, very strong memory of the familiar song. As a kid, I didn't know the first thing about harmony. I could sing a tune to you, and probably not even the right words, just a feeling. <laughs> but that's what's so amazing about music, is really, in its essence, it's a feeling. Is there science in the feeling? Absolutely, without a shadow of doubt. Anybody got a tissue?